Hello, dance arts dancers and families. I am back at the studio with Miss Addie. Today we are going to show you pirouette technique and make sure that we're uh, keeping up with those turns and show you a few ideas of how you can keep up with that at home. So first, Miss Addie's gonna demonstrate a proper pirouette position. So her shoulders are down and back. Her arms are gonna be in a nice high first position so that if I come and push on them, they don't go anywhere. She's been doing her push-ups. Her core is gonna be nice and tight. She wants to engage that belly button back to her spine, making sure that she's not arching her back or sticking her bum out. And then for her um, passe position, she's gonna make sure that her foot is pointed. It's not just um, sitting there on her knee. It should be attached at the knee and it should be nice and high up. Yes, and it should also be turned in. We're doing jazz pirouettes today. Then when she goes up on her releve, she wants to make sure that it is a nice and high releve. Yes, and she's going to squeeze and hold and tighten. I'm putting her on the spot here. She's under some pressure. But another great thing we talked about is that now is a good time to be uh, stretching your feet, putting your feet under um, the couch and pointing them and using that couch to push those ankles down, stretch out those uh, feet and or having your sibling or parent push down on those feet gently and flex back up on them. Um, doing those ankle exercises like releves at the kitchen counter or the back of the sofa, um, releves and eleves in first and doing all of those really good um, bar work combinations that Miss Lynn has kindly put up for you guys. Uh, to keep those ankles nice and strong. You don't need a lot of room to keep your ankles strong and to improve your foot flexibility. So first of all, she's going to do a four count hold in that pirouette position. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and down. Good. She's really gonna fight for her balance. It's okay if you cannot hold it for the whole eight seconds. What I really wanna see is that you're trying to fight for it. You're engaging your core, you're making those adjustments to make sure that you're in proper pirouette position and alignment so that you can hold it for eight seconds by the time we get back from this quarantine break. All right, now she's gonna go for eight seconds. My advanced girls, feel free to change up the arms, especially after those first four counts. It's a good challenge to move your arms either to a high fifth position or maybe Get creative, I don't know, here we go. Five, six prep, seven, eight, hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. Very nice. So another um, idea for you for holding that uh, balance is to prep, do your passe hold in first. You can get creative with your arms. You can move them up to high fifth. Move them up to high fifth or you can uh, practice a front attitude balance. You can move your arms to a, what's that called? Sorry, no, I forgot. Third? Third. I think that's fourth. Sorry, Miss Lynn. <laughs> um, just making sure that our core is nice and engaged, we're using our turnout with that front attitude. So it should be nice and high and turned out, yes. Um, another good idea is to move your arms out to second. Get creative with the arms because um, it can add a whole new element to your balance. So after you've done your balance for eight counts, challenge yourself to balance as long as you can, changing up the arms as you wish. I won't make you do that one. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, so now Miss Addie is going to demonstrate a single pirouette. She's going to prep five, six, prep seven, Eight. She's in a good plie. The front heel is down. The bottom heel is up. And she is not winding up her left arm behind her. She has it nice and perpendicular in a 90 degree position. She's going to pop right up to that pirouette position as quickly as she can. She's going to spot me in the front. She's going to have a high releve and she's going to land with her feet together. Go up and down. Very good. Now she's gonna do a double. Same rules apply, don't get crazy with the arms. Five, six, prep, seven, eight, turn one, two, and land. Very nice. And for my intermediate and advanced girls, start working on those triples. Five, six, prep, seven, eight, turn one, two, three, and land. Good, 
Notice how she's landing nice and controlled out of every turn. You shouldn't be flying out of it and like a leaning tower of Pisa. <laughs> Advanced girls, please be working on your quads and more. Would you like to demonstrate a quad or more? Five, six, seven, eight, turn one, two, three, four. Very good. So another good idea is to practice turning with some creative arms. Um, this requires a lot of core strength, so it's a very good idea to warm up your core. Uh, before you do this, I forgot to say, we should be warming up properly, stretching properly before we do anything um, dance related. Sorry, I was supposed to say that, I forgot. Um, now is a great time, a great opportunity to be working on your flexibility and your strength because it does not take a hard dance floor or dance shoes or a lot of space to work on your flexibility. So that's a really great thing to work on. Miss Catherine put a video up yesterday with a lot of good stretching ideas in there um, and a full stretching warm-up routine that we should all be doing at least three times a week. How about that? That's a good amount. Three or four at least every week okay so now she's going to demonstrate on the left so the left is a little bit different because you prep with your right foot forward five six prep seven eight she's first going to do she would do the balance for four counts then her balance for eight counts and then her balance for as long as she can now she's going to do a single five six seven eight up and down very good okay double five six prep seven eight up, up, land. Good. And a triple. Five, six prep, seven, eight, one, two, three, land. And engage that core. Keep that supporting knee straight. And advanced girls, you can do a quad or more at that point. Um, next up, Ms. Addy's going to demonstrate a float. So this is for our advanced girls who are working on their turns in second and in uh, jazz and contemporary class and uh, floats are very popular right now especially in the college dance team world so if you're thinking about trying out for a college dance team in the near future it will come quicker than you think um, you should really work on these floats so what Miss Hattie's gonna do she's gonna prep like a regular pirouette so she's gonna prep she's gonna do a rotation plie to the corner and then she's gonna open up her arms and her legs good and her leg, I mean, to a turned out position. Her arms are gonna come above her head to a high fifth position, and she's going to do a single rotation and land back into the pirouette prep position. Okay, you ready? Five, six prep, seven, eight, and plie, up, land. Very good. You wanna really make sure that we're opening those hips all the way up to second position. Don't leave your leg turned in. Um, because then you won't have the momentum that you need to get all the way around. We want to make sure that we're keeping our bottom tucked when we do this and our back is not arching. Your core should be nice and engaged. Now she's going to try a double, so really make sure we're still spotting. Five, six, prep, seven, eight, plie, one, up, up, and land with control. Good. Okay, so if you're fortunate enough to have room to do seconds in your house, then, wow, lucky you, because... I don't know where you would even do that in our house. <laughs> okay, so if you're fortunate enough to have that amount of room, then by all means, please practice your turns in second. It's a great opportunity to improve. So Miss Addy's going to demonstrate just a regular eight count of turns in second. She's going to plie towards, towards the corner um, and open all the way up into a second position with her leg. Plie and open her arms are going to be super super strong closing in first and opening back up to second really super strong you can see those biceps engaging boom and keeping that core nice and engaged making sure we're spotting again my intermediate girls if you haven't tried fuetes in the studio yet don't try them yet at home because we want to make sure that we're watching you when you try these for the first time because that's when bad habits can be formed if we're not uh, watching. So this is for our advanced girls who are practicing turns uh, regularly in class in second. All right, she's going to demonstrate an eight count with a double at the end. Got it? Five, six, prep, seven, eight, and hit, and hit, and hit, and double land. And saves it on the landing. All right, so there's a good opportunity for you to work on your turns. 
Um, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you guys are staying um, consistent with your core and conditioning and doing your ballet bar work every day and your stretching and I hope you guys are finding good ways to entertain yourselves. We're trying to. All right. Miss you. Miss you. Bye.